Follow me on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I just flew in from Gotham. Boy, are my arms tired. So, uh, you guys look like a pretty nice audience, but I don't know if you recently heard this. Mickey and Minnie are getting a divorce. Yeah, it's pretty sad. But the judge tells Mickey, I can't grant you a divorce just because you say Minnie's crazy. And Mickey says, Your Honor, I never said she was crazy. I said she was fucking goofy. you St. Rock fans, let me hear you clap your hands. Now that you got the beat, let me hear you stomp your feet. I don't even really know how to start this one. Episode 12. Oh, I love surfing the web. Okay, first things first. I posted some new music. I remixed Chris Brown's Don't Judge Me in a version I call Don't Love Me. And I don't know how many people have seen the What Happened to Rap video. I parody uh, just rap these days. I really think you guys will like that. Those are both in the description of this video. Click them, watch them, share them, watch them. Actually, I gotta give a shout out to Lil Debbie. Lil Debbie is uh, the rapper that you, her, you hear her song in the beginning of the What Happened to Rap video. And she retweeted the World Star link and she actually t uh, tweeted me saying, This boy dumbass funny for that one though. LOL. Smoke up. Get it how you get it. So shout out to you, Lil Debbie. I hope that you enjoyed the video. It was all in good fun. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad to see that you're a good sport about it. And I don't know how many of you realize, but the quality of my songs has gotten a hundred times better. That's all because of my friend Chris. He's an incredible engineer, incredible producer. We have a lot of cool things going on. And I think that instead of just releasing a mixtape, I think I'm gonna try to release a new song every week or every two weeks. Some remixed and some original because he makes incredible songs. We have a lot of original stuff going on. You guys are definitely gonna like those, especially people who are asking me for um, me to sing on the guitar. I'm writing a song to that as well. A lot of cool things coming from the music front. So be on the lookout for a lot of good music coming up. Moving on. What was that, G? You said Eric D'Alessandro's hosting Thanksgiving Eve at Amnesia in Bay Ridge? And you wanna go? Oh my god, I'm so there. That's right, I'm hosting Thanksgiving Eve at Amnesia Bay Ridge. It's in Brooklyn. It's 18 and older to get in. I did an appearance one time at a 21 and older event and a lot of people complained about it. So I hope a lot more of you can come now, especially the ones who are always saying, do a meet and greet or something. Now's your chance, you can come hang out with me, take pictures, we'll dance, we'll do the Macarena, I'll pick you up, we'll do the dirty dancing dance, whatever you wanna do. And I hope to see a lot of you guys there. That's that shit I don't like. Okay, for this week's shit I don't like, we're gonna be talking about when I'm driving somewhere, and Hot 97 or Power 105 plays a song that I really like, but I can't fucking hear it because the DJ keeps interrupting. I don't know how many people experience this problem, but here in New York City, it's a fucking serious problem. You hear a good song, you be driving your car, you turn it up like, oh shit. Get like me. Oh. Yeah, hit me up on that Twitter at DJ EJ. All these motherfuckers when it's 1-800-822-39797. Like me, cause I'm the nigga. It's going down at Bay Street, ladies getting free tonight. And fucking bitches. Yeah, get... shout out to Nene Nene, happy birthday Nene. They getting bent up. Follow me on that Twitter. I'm licorice, I let it lick See on them girls in them Instagram pictures with they ass. Out. Yeah, red light, green light, one, two, three. Pikachu fucking... would evolve to write you. Boy, turn it Follow like... me on that Twitter. Fucking bars, beats. Follow me on that Twitter. That's that shit I don't like. Dear Eric, let's retweet. Okay, I want to start things off this week by apologizing to Mary. Mary sent me a tweet asking to wish her sister a happy birthday weeks ago. And I took a screenshot of it, but I never got around to it. And then Sandy happened and it just fucked a lot of things up. So, Greta, thanks to your sister Mary, I'm sorry I'm late. I want to wish you a very, very, very happy birthday from all of us here at The Eric Show. I hope it was magical. I'm sorry I'm late. Megan wants to know, what inspired you to do The Eric Show? Well, Megan, I noticed a lot of the things that I was being creative with recently were just based around music, and then I had a lot of good short ideas, and I never really knew what to do with them. So I wanted to make a weekly show, kind of like Chappelle's show, which obviously no one here is good and, and elaborate, but I kind of always had a dream to making a show like that. And then I also did these um, videos for Facebook when I would just talk about stuff. So that's kind of where the idea came from. And then I was like, I'll do that every week. Hopefully they'll like it. Nancy wants to know, did you cry more when Simba's dad died in The Lion King or when that bitch shot Selena 
and Selena. Let me tell you something, Nancy. I remember being like five or six whenever that movie came out, watching it thinking, well, this dad can't die. I mean, I'm a five-year-old. I'm not going to watch it. They don't make movies for me where the fucking dad dies in the first ten minutes. And then he died. I wasn't even sad. I was just like, y you're kidding me, right? This movie's been on for eight minutes and the dad's already dead. In The Lion King, I mean, the guy just stopped drawing, but in Selena, that actually happened. That, that was a real-life situation, you know? The woman who killed her, was that the same woman from Romeo and Juliet when he was like, His name is Romeo, and he's a Montague. I don't know if that's the same woman, but they look alike. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Paola. Paola? Is that how you say that? If you were a stripper, what would your stage name be? Well, I've always wanted to use Huge Erection for something, so maybe my stripper name. But if I had to be a stripper, I would just use another porn name, like S. Ventura. Wet Detective. Ocean's Eleven. Inches. Tanya wants to know, what are you most excited for this winter? I love you. Put me in your next episode. Well, Tanya, I'm really looking forward to Christmas, and I'm always cold, so I look forward to wearing lots of layers. And I finally get to wear my peacoat again. I'm a fan of peacoats. LC and Melissa want to know if I'll come to Toronto and be both of theirs. I really gotta get out to Toronto. I mean, I'm a huge Drake fan, and I've been wanting to go there for a long time. The Toronto Raptors used to be my favorite team when I was five, because I loved Damon Stoudemire. Then he got kicked out of the league because he was a pothead. But anyway, I want to come to Toronto, and I want to meet both of you. I will be both of yours. One arm. One arm. I gotta give my man Mike Corio a shout-out. That's my man right there. Here we go. Bam! Julio Gonzalez. A very easy name to say. He wants to get a shout-out for him and his mom, who both like me a lot. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate Thank you for having a name that I could pronounce. <laughs> Juan would like to know, has anyone ever told you that you kind of look like Aston Kutcher? No, Juan, I have never heard that before. Who's Aston Kutcher? I want to thank you for being the first person to ever bring that to my attention. Thanks, Juan. You're the best. Sarcasm! Brett wants to know, what's your favorite non-pornographic magazine to jerk it to? Easy, highlights. Highlight magazine when I'm at the dentist? I just do it in front of everybody, too. I don't give a fuck. I'm in the waiting room like, Hey, Mrs. K, another root canal, huh? <laughs> Bill, come on, man. You got to stay away from those candy corns. Ah! We got more love from Toronto. Alexa wants to know, since you're not coming to Toronto for Thanksgiving, will you reimburse me for travel and lodging to come to you? Absolutely. fucking literally I actually just got new sheets on my bed. And uh, it could fit two people. So if you and your dad want to stay here, I'll sleep downstairs. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. Um, my microphone got fucked up because of Hurricane Sandy. So, um, thanks thanks a lot. A lot of cool things happening, working on a lot of good music. Um, please stay tuned. Thanksgiving Eve, come out if you want to meet me. It should be a lot of fun. Um, other than that, stay tuned. Lots of cool things happening. Uh, thank you for joining us for the Anarch Show. Oh. Ooh.